Doris class, hello Matthew class, welcome to um, Wednesday's maths lesson. Um, hope you got an okay yesterday, we're thinking about um, sharing groups of objects in half, finding half of an amount, hope you got an okay with that. Now yesterday when you were doing your, I think you were taking counters and we were trying to group them, uh, sorry, trying to halve them, trying to put them into two equal groups. I set you a little question, didn't I? I wonder if anybody picked some counters and found that they couldn't share them into equal groups. Did you find that? Well, hopefully you did find it because you can only halve certain numbers and we call those even numbers. If a number is an odd number, it cannot be shared into two equal groups. You will always have one left over, which is probably what you try, what you found when you were um, doing it with your counters. So we numbers are either odd or they're even. Two types of numbers, they're either odd or they're even. Let me tell you again, an even number is a number that can be shared equally into two groups and an odd number, when you try and share it equally into two groups, into two equal groups, you will have one left over. So let's, this is what reception children, this is what you're going to think about today. You're going to think about odd and even numbers. Yeah, one children, I want you to think about it as well. Um, but we're going to go on and think a little bit more about some other things as well. But um, reception children, this is particularly for you to think about odd and even numbers. So I've got some counters here. So could you go and collect your counters? I'm just using 10 counters. Uh, you could use more if you want to, but I'm just going to start with 10. I've got my 10 counters. So I am going to take an amount of counters and I'm going to try and work out if I have got an odd number of counters or an even number of counters. So let me have a look. I'm going to take, um, I've got six. So can you find six uh, counters for me? One, two, three, four, five and six. I've got six counters. So I'm going to try and work out if six is odd or even. Let's have a go. So I'm going to make it into two equal groups. So one in my left hand, one in my right hand, one in my left hand, one in my right hand, one in my left hand, one in my right hand, right? I've shared them all out. I've still got six. I've shared them into two groups. Let's see if those groups are equal. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. So six is even because I can share it into two equal groups. So six is an even number. This time... Could you get five um, counters, please? Let's count out five. You do it with me. One, two, three, whoops, four, five. Okay, got five. Ooh. Make sure you've got five. Now I'm going to share them out equally into, my, into two groups because that's what halving is. Two equal groups. One in my left hand, one in my right hand. Hand, one in my right hand, one in my left hand. Okay, so I've got them in two groups. I've shared them out. Still got five. One, two, three. Yeah, I've shared them out into two groups. But are they in equal groups? Let's have a look. This hand, I've got one, two, three. This hand, I've got two. They're not in equal groups. If I put them into equal groups, I've got two and I've got two and I've got one left over. That means this number, five, is odd. It's odd. Let's do one more. Can you find nine? Nine counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine. I'm going to share them into two groups. Let's see if they make equal groups. Ready? One. One in my left hand, one in my right hand, one in my left hand, one in my right hand, one in my left hand, one in my right hand, one in my left hand, one in my right hand, one in my left hand. Okay, let's see. I've got them into two groups. That's a good start for halving. They're in two groups. Let's see how many I've got in each group. One, two, three, four, five. And 
one, two, three, four. They're not in equal groups. If I put them into equal groups, I've got four in my left hand, four in my right hand, but I've got one left over. So this number is odd because I've got one left over. Let me show you on um, a 10 frame. I think it makes it really clear on a 10 frame whether a number is odd or even. So in my 10 frame, I'm going to put in four. I'm going to put in four um, splotches. One, two, three, four. And straight away, you can see, well, yeah, you can split them into two equal groups. They can go into pairs. They can go into equal groups. If I were to put seven on my 10 frame, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look how clearly you can see that you can put them into two groups, but there'll be one left over. Do another one. On my next 10 frame, I'm going to do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Really clear that that's an even number. I should write on them, shouldn't I? So that top one is an odd number because it's got one left over. This one. Look, it's an even number because you can put them into two equal groups. So it's even. I'm going to do my last one and I want you to shout out whether it's an odd or an even number. So I'm going to do um, three. One. Maybe you've already shouted out if it's odd or even. What do you think? Here we go. What is it? It's odd, isn't it? Because it's got that one left over. It's odd. Brilliant. Well done. Now, um, year ones, you can do this as well. But the activity, it's a nice activity for you to do today. Um, I've got it written on the back of what I'm looking at it. Reception children and year one, you can do this. But year one, I want you to come back and watch the rest of the video because we're going to move on. But I want you to go and watch an episode of Number Blocks. It might be on iPlayer, but if it's not on iPlayer, if you just put this into YouTube, it will bring you up the episode. So it's Number Blocks, Series 2. Shall I write it on here? Let's rub down a bit. Number Blocks, Series 2. Not very clear. Number Blocks, Series 2 episode 11 and it should be called odd and even there it is that's the episode i want you to go to so if it's not on iplayer and i'm not sure whether it is or not um it will be on youtube so number blocks series 2 episode 11 and it should be called odd and even so yeah one children you can watch it as well but uh, reception children i really want you to go and watch that episode and think about odd and even numbers okay great Okay, year one children. We are going to be moving on to thinking today about quarters. Yesterday we thought about halves, didn't we? Can you remember what a half is? A half is one of two equal parts. So on my board, if I were to draw a square and I wanted to find half of my square, I would need to put it into two groups and the groups would, each group would need to be equal or would need to be the same. So there's one half. Again, with objects. If I want to find half of the objects, I have to put them into two equal groups. It has to be the same, half. Now, today, we're going to go on and think about quarters. Let me write that word down, a quarter. Qu it's a funny word, quarter, isn't it? So let me write it down. We're going to find, a, we're going to find quarters, okay? We're gonna find quarters. Now a quarter, it's a bit like half, it's still a fraction, but this time, if we're finding a quarter, we are going to be finding 
four equal groups. A quarter, we're going to be finding four equal groups. And a quarter is one of four equal groups. So a quarter is one of those equal groups. So there will be four equal groups and a quarter is one of those equal groups. I have some pictures here. I've got my sentence written down to remind me a quarter is one of four equal parts. I've got some shapes here and I have um, grouped my shapes. I've split up my shapes into groups. I want to know if I have found a quarter of these shapes. So let's look at this one here. So is that shaded bit a quarter? Well, let's think about it. A quarter is one of four equal parts. Okay, so it needs to be into four parts. Is it in four parts? One, two, three, four. Yes, it's in four. Good, good start. Are they equal? Are they the same? Is that one the same as that one is the same as that one is the same as that one? Well, yes, I think they are. Remember, I've drawn these, so it's not exact. But I would say, yes, that is a quarter. That is one of four equal parts, and they are the same, aren't they? Equal. Let's look at this one. So, I'm looking for four parts. One, two, three, four. Great. So, I think it might, maybe it is a quarter, because it's four parts. Oh, hold on. Are they equal? Are they equal parts? Well, look, that one's really tiny. That's sort of bigger. That's small again. And this one's really big. So that can't be. I'm going to tick the ones. We've decided that that is a quarter, haven't we? This one, are they equal? Are the parts equal? No, they're not. So that is not a quarter. This one, how many parts am I looking for? I'm looking for four. Is it in four parts? One, two, three, four. Yes, it's in four. Is each of the parts equal? Yeah, I think it is. I think that one is. Great. Right, let's do this one down here. Wow. I mean, it's in four parts. One, two, three, four. It's in four parts, but are they equal? No way. That's a teeny weeny bit. And look at that one's a really big bit. That is not a quarter, that is not in quarters. Now this one looks like a quarter to me. Look, they are all equal, aren't they? They're all equal. They all look the same, I've shaded one of them. That's great, oh, hold on. I'm looking for a quarter. So how many parts am I supposed to have if I'm splitting it into quarters? I'm supposed to have four parts. How many have I got here? One two, three, four, five. There's five equal parts. So that is not a quarter. That is not a quarter because it's in five parts. Great. So hopefully that's a bit clearer what a quarter is. Now I've got an activity oh, for you to do now. Uh, we'll do some of it together, but you might have to pause the video to go and have a go at doing it. What I need you to have is I need you to have pieces of paper. I need you to have two circles. I need you to have two squares and I need you to have two rectangles. Now let me just tell you how I did it. I had two pieces of paper. I used a plate. I put my plate on the piece of paper, drew round it and then cut out my circles. So that made my two circles. Um, squares and rectangles. If you um, get a piece of paper, just a normal piece of paper, and if you fold the corner to down, sorry, you take the corner and you fold it so it lines up at the bottom, if you cut off there, you will have a square. If you cut that bit off, you'll have a square and you'll be left with a rectangle. So I did that with two pieces of paper. So you should be able to do this by yourself. Um, 
children because I know some of your grown-ups are so so busy trying to work from home as well as helping you all with your learning so you should be able to go and make two circles two squares and two rectangles this is what I want you to do let's look at our squares first I want you on one of the squares I want you to have a go at turning your piece of paper into quarters so four equal parts so think about how you're going to do it so I've folded this piece of paper already this way so now look it's in two equal parts if I were to fold it again along the diagonal from corner to corner look I will have one two three four parts and they will be equal so I want you to have a go at doing that and then maybe fold it a different way and make equal parts a different way so this time I'm going to fold along the straight to make half and then I'm going to cut do along the straight again and the straight again so I've got one two three four parts and they're all the same so I have made quarters out of my squared bit of paper on your second uh, shape for each uh, second bit of paper for each shape I want you to try and make um, make four parts but this time I want them to not be equal so they won't be quarters but I want your piece of paper into four parts but not equal so maybe we could fold like that and then fold like that and then fold like that let's have a look let's have a look oh look I'm in four parts one two three four but they're not equal are they they're not equal parts so that's year one what I'd like you to have a go at it's a bit tricky use your pieces of paper try and make so you could do the circle next you could try and turn that into quarters and then on your other piece of paper try and make four parts but not equal see how you get on you could also watch their number blocks It'd be really good for you to watch as well so that's the job for today the, oh the other thing you can do that would be lovely for you to do is you know yesterday we looked at this sheet which said how many different ways of colouring a half can you find at the bottom of that page is this again if you don't have the sheet don't worry your grown-up can help you draw on your whiteboard or you can draw on your whiteboard this one says how many different ways of colouring a quarter can you find so I want you to look at these and try and colour a quarter on each remember it has to be four equal parts great have a go at that and I'll see you tomorrow for more maths Bye.